The shift has begun. Hello everyone, hope you guys are having amazing the XRP's around again. Just consolidation guys, but Bitcoin is slightly uh, moving up slightly, which is looking very beautiful guys, right? The greed is at 61. It keeps dropping like a fly guys. What's happening? Are people, I guess people are now turning bearish to the highest degree guys. Crazy if you ask me. Okay. So there's something interesting happening in today's video guys things are accelerating to the fastest pace okay check this out now guys we're the fun part of xrp in the xrp community now this is called white interesting from david shorts i had a conversation with a bitcoin maxi today and went like this him do you want to know my opinion of, of xrp me sure him it's worthless me i know but tell me anyway wow right so it seems as the people who hate um, Ripple and XRP guys are just following the hate train, right? Are just following the herd guys. And when you're following everyone guys, where does it lead you to, right? It leads you towards the slaughterhouse. But there's only a few people going the opposite path, right? That'll reach, I guess, success and whatnot guys. Now, Bitcoin Maxis hate XRP because they know it's a threat. I mean, Satoshi's vision has turned upside down, right? Satoshi Nakamoto's vision has turned upside down. He didn't want things to become centralized, but it sure is. Interesting. Okay, though, we have an interesting day for tomorrow because January 17th, uh, 2022, David Schwartz posted this. And look at, it, look at his name as well back then. It was flipped upside down set, uh, and reverse, I think. Send me 0 0.589 Bitcoin and I'll flip the switch. Look at that, guys. Hmm. Interesting, right? But then we see, you know why that's so crazy? Because remember, this was tweeted out from one of the Riddlers in the community a year before this was tweeted out, okay? And he said it soon. Wow. Interesting. Very fascinating, guys. A lot of interesting connections to our today's video, but it seems like this this the year something happens because we got confirmed by Brad Garlinghouse as well, guys. First things first, though, we see here from Mr. Intuitive. A connection to Stellar and their photo, guys, right? This sign right here and up here looking very similar indeed, which would connect to this right here from uh, Brad Garlinghouse. Now, why is that fascinating, guys? It's because from Elon Musk, he just tweeted out yesterday a response to time to complete the circle. Okay, X from a long time ago, X.com. Elon Musk replied, bye, or with destiny will be fulfilled. Wow. Wow, 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 guys. Right, the loop. Like Mr. Poole's name, as well as from Archie yesterday. It seems as all these accounts are somehow, some way interconnected, guys. Because what are the chances that, unless, what are the chances Elon Musk tweets this out, right? But then uh, he, he, this account posts this as well. Unless, I don't know. I was just, I was going to say, but this account posted it first, it seems as. Um, unless there are algorithms out there that does it automatically. Now, okay. I got super excited when I read this, guys. I can't make this stuff up. I can't believe my face. From Brad Garlinghouse. LFG! 2024 is going to be big. Okay. I'm pretty sure everyone else talked about this, but... Why? The real question to me is, why would he say this, guys? And why now? Okay. Not to mention, today is 116. Right? 119 or 911. So, 2024 is going to be big. Right. Why is that fascinating, guys? Because Elon Musk stated the same thing. LFG 2024. Wait, what? Right? Before the new year struck. Okay. The same thing, guys, except he had rocket emojis. We don't see that from Brad Garlinghouse. Okay. So 2024 is basically confirmed to be big, guys. Right? In what terms? In what terms? Regulations. Um, clarity for the crypto industry. Prices moving upwards possibly as well guys, right? A lot of people are bearish, but what if it, it what if the opposite always occurs, remember? So there's a lot of fascinating observations to take in guys from Ripple. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse will be taking the stage alongside CFTC Commissioner 
um, when? On Tuesday. I'm guessing that's today. So there we go, guys. Right. It already happened, it seems as, but there we go, guys. So I don't see any other CEOs in crypto doing this. Exactly. Now, check this out, though. That will connect to this week, not the first time, right? An absolute pleasure to welcome you, uh, you to our offices, the commissioner, guys. There we go. A lot of good things, I, guys. This is just, just this is just my feeling, though. This isn't financial advice, okay? But I feel like XRP is truly the chosen coin out there. That's just me, though. Now, Treasury won't oppose, you say. What do we see right here, guys? So Brad Garlinghouse was speaking over here, right at Davos. And he, and he states this. this year, there will be uh, legislation that passes. I, I won't be as uh, you know, predictive about which one. I think the likelihood is that the stable coin. Uh, stable coins this year. Again, prepare. Something is brewing, guys. I could already see. We could already tell. Clarity for stable coin. I can't remember the name of the bill that has been uh, you're going through the, the system in Washington, D.C. But I think we will see that in part because the U.S. Treasury wants it. Right? I, mean, I think the stablecoin market has really surprised people in some ways in terms of solving a real need. And I think it only makes sense for there to be regulatory clarity around that. I think this year, it's all what plan. Senators have a deal on the crypto amendments and Treasury won't oppose it. Right? Oh, wow. All planned. 117, guys, tomorrow as well. Right? That's an insane delta. Wow. So, so this just tells us that Whatever happens, guys, right? Whatever happens, um, it's all planned. Okay, the crypto that 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 means one other thing as well. It's like a domino effect. It means everything's manipulated, guys, to the highest standard. From chat, if the court dismisses the Coinbase case tomorrow, hit the turbo button on United States crypto regulations for 2024. Wait a moment, this is happening tomorrow as well, right? It's all planned, guys. What the what is happening, right? Tomorrow, Coinbase meets with the SEC in court for arguments in, uh, in Coinbase motion to dismiss. Hmm, hasn't a lot of money been sent over to Coinbase since the ETF last week, guys? So could there be something tomorrow? Let us see what happens. Something is brewing, guys. So the, the Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit, loud and clear, XRP in its itself is not a security, guys, right? The rest is noise, exactly. Ripple versus the SEC lawsuit. When, when, when do we get a conclusion? Well, but most of it has been resolved, right? So the SEC filed a lawsuit in December of 2020, so just over three years ago, against me, against Chris Larson, and against Ripple. The case against uh, Chris and Brad, myself, uh, have been dismissed entirely. With Again, could this be the year where it all concludes, which means prices have to go up, guys, right? 2024, it has to be this year. We've been saying it. If it's not, I'm out. Prejudice, meaning they can't ever bring it back. And the case against Ripple, they lost on everything they cared about. I mean, their primary tenet was that XRP is a security. And in the Judge Torres's opinion, what she wrote is XRP is in and of itself not a security. So I. Is that clear? Which other coin has that same status? Nothing, guys, or not that I know of, right? XRP's ETF will come before Ethereum, hopefully. I feel very good about that. The SEC then asked for approval to appeal that decision, and that was denied. So, I mean, like, the SEC has lost consistently in this case. Ripple. The SEC has lost cons uh, consistently in this case, guys, right? Now, today we do see 116, right? Again, which is 911. What's what's really interesting about today, guys, right? When this is all happening, all these events, look at this, Back to the Future, 116, Twin Pine, uh, Pines Mall, 116, and then 133, right? The different malls, seems as. How did they know? So, so Back to the Future literally means they place things such as these numbers, guys, in the past, right? And, and when this strikes in the future, we're going back to the future. If you guys get my drift. Mr. Poole confirmed it a long time ago. The only proof you need is in the past. Past proves future, and yet future will always prove past. That means as civilizations go bust, right? Die. History repeats in that same manner, such as America will die as well, guys. Trump today, a long time ago, 1989. Wow. So here's another um, few numbers we should pay attention to. Where's 113 from Christine Lagarde, right? The the time, the timestamp right there. Hidden in plain sight. 
The devil really is in the details. Look at this, guys. Insane. That is that the scarf she's wearing? Wow. Right, so who's really in control here? Uh-huh. Well, new WEF president says, what, what are we able to keep on the positive side from the old space order to bring into a new world, guys? You just they're saying if th this is from the horse's mouth, guys, right? The horse's mouths, they're saying it themselves, not me, not I. But it seems like we're heading towards a new world, right? Which there will have to be chaos and then bring upon what's order. But check this out it seems like Brad Garland has confirmed that stop it, listen very carefully because we go back here. Big Short tweeted out the great shift. Two days ago. And look what happened today. Brad Garlinghouse knows about the Riddlers. It's been confirmed. Listen. You know, capital, uh, financial capitals of the world. But I think the U.S. eventually figures it out. Uh, I don't know how to predict what's going to happen in the election cycle. But no matter what, there's going to be you know, a, a shift, if you will. And I think we will see a shift at the SEC, hopefully to a, a new chair that is uh, constructive and wants to work with the industry and not put their own agenda ahead of the, the American peoples. There we go, guys. Right, A shift. What did we talk about from the traditional financial system to cryptocurrencies the great shift as you guys can see right here again not only in one interview who says that guys but listen to this this is insane it's just frustrating that it has been slow and painful and i think look i think with an election coming in the united states uh there will be some changes that happen i, don't, I think he keeps talking about the election guys what's happening over there i don't know but listen very carefully the current chair of the sec i think has been exercising a political agenda not a good policy agenda and uh i think that will shift uh just a question of when and how uh so we'll see what happens that will shift again. Double confirmation. What? Schwab states we need a paradigm shift. What is this, guys? They're all talking about a shift. This was a day before, two days before. What happened? Big Short, one of the Riddlers, tweeted about the great shift. We need, and then he says, trust must be rebuilt uh, in our future, in our capacity to overcome challenges, and most importantly, trusting each other. Wow. Crazy. And then we see from Brad Garlinghouse, what is he wearing, guys? Right? Boots. And this right here, Skywalk GTX, which is co which costs $200, something more fun, guys. Right? Brad Garlinghouse uh, plus uh, FAM plus Davos stage equal XRP is a global st settlement commodity. Uh, that's just math and facts. Don't care about your feelings. Well, it sure seems like that because crypto is coming to every person on the planet once regulations are here, guys. I think, you know, as was mentioned in the report. Again, the utility is already here. They don't have regulations set in place, but they're but the Circle UCC, um, Circle CEO and Brad Garland House have been talking about regulations will come in this year, possibly. Seems like it, guys. Look, listen. Or we will get there. Very carefully. There soon, I hope, uh, in the United States. And I think that will create a massive opportunity for growth. I think that regulation is important to kind of prevent this, this fear of you're going to go to jail or you're going you're gonna to get this wrong or you're going to get a fine, right? But I think that it's really critical that we get past where's the safe place to do crypto, which I hope is soon because there's 8 billion people on the planet and about 70% of them have mobile cell phone access and digital assets enable the financialization of the internet. And we can bring financial services and digital assets to every single person on the planet that has a phone and that's going to transcend local regulation. So I think that the key is let's get the regulation in place so we can all build businesses and create economic value globally. Before I throw it to the panel, which ones? I think, you know, Remember, regulations are going to make everything centralized, guys. Be careful what you wish for. Now, financial advice. The final tip for today's video comes from Susan Wood. Today's Delta. All these tweets were tweeted out uh, a couple years back, guys. Okay. When we talk about elections, Joe Biden, your time is coming. Not financial advice. Not anything advice. What is that, Sophia's amazingness? See ya. Nothing advice, guys. Wow.